Local law enforcement agencies are looking for two shoplifters who stole thousands of dollars worth of items from Walmart stores here in Arkansas. Channel 7's Kayla Christian joins us in our newsroom tonight with the details. Kayla. Yes, that's right. And I spoke with the Bryant Police Department who says this is an issue they believe is happening in multiple states. And there are at least two stores that they know of that these shoplifters hit right here in Arkansas. Now, after police received calls about suspected shoplifters, lifters at Bryant Walmart store footage revealed two males finding box fans removing the fans and then placing other items in the boxes to conceal the items they stole as they left the store now through footage they were also able to identify the suspects car and get word to other law enforcement agencies now according to Bryant PD the suspects made it to Clark County where there was a chase that ended with the suspects abandoning their car with the items behind Behind a home. Sergeant Todd Krausen shared why the public shouldn't take shoplifting lightly. You know, a lot of people, they, they, they'll see a story like this and, you know, they might even chuckle about it and go, wow, that was pretty creative. What they don't understand is, is when people are stealing stuff like that, especially high dollar things, and then they, you know, the, the consumers that go in that are legit and buy things, they, they start seeing how prices are going up. But that's why a lot of these prices go up. I'm sure somebody knows something out there about this. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. And if you do, just, you know, do the right thing. Even if you don't contact us, contact your local law enforcement agency. Let them know what's going on. And, you know, let's, let's try to get these people off the streets. Now, multiple law enforcement agencies together recovered over 130 items totaling around $10,000. Now, most of the items stolen were electric razors. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. All right, Kayla, thanks a lot. They say they believe more than just two locations in Arkansas were affected. The investigation is still ongoing.